Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite manifesting techniques and these are especially great if you are feeling frustrated or if you're feeling restless or maybe even hopeless. Sometimes when there's time delays, it can cause us to feel hopeless about our manifestation. It can cause us to feel doubtful if it's even going to happen and it can make you question yourself. And if you've ever felt that way before, then these are some of my favorite tips for when you are going through those times. Because of course we all have bad days and of course there's always going to be downtime just because you practice law of attraction doesn't mean that you're always going to be at a place of high vibration and it doesn't mean that you're always going to be at a place of gratitude and joy. And when these moments happen, I do think it's very important to take a moment and fully process them. Because what happens when you don't take that time and process what you're feeling, let's say you just kind of repress it, and because you are running away from these emotions, what's going to happen is they're going to come back later. And when they do, it's going to be a lot stronger than it would have been if you just took the time to process it. The other thing is when you take a moment and step back and process these negative feelings or these downtimes, it will help you respond so much better to it. It's similar to when something happens um, in your daily life to cause you to feel angry or upset. Maybe you're in traffic, maybe someone cuts you off. If you don't take that second to process things, if you don't take that second to really decide how you want to react, then your immediate reaction is usually a lash of anger. Maybe you just get really frustrated, maybe you start cursing out the person, <laughs> but if you take a moment to step back and really decide how you want to react, then you'll have a lot more power and a lot more control over your reaction rather than just allowing it to consume you. And you can apply this to manifestation if you are feeling negative or feeling down about your manifestations, if you feel like, is it ever going to happen? How is it going to happen? When you start to feel yourself asking those two questions, those are not the questions that you want to be asking and when you see them come into your mind a lot, that's a good sign that it's time to step back and really decide and choose what kind of emotional responses do you want to have to the situation. When you're manifesting something, the questions you want to focus on is the what and the why. What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to bring forward? What is that vision? What does that look like? And why? Why do you want this thing? Why would it be impactful for you and the people around you? Why might other people even want you to have this thing? That's more what you want your focus and intentions to be on. Questions like how and when will distract you from that and can cause feelings of frustration and hopelessness. So when you start to see these come up, one thing that's always really good to refer back to is gratitude, finding things that you are grateful for in your life. I was watching this show and this girl was like sad and her boyfriend was trying to cheer her up and he was like, what are you grateful for? And she was like crying, she was like, my cat. And then he was like, right, so how can you be upset when you have your cat and you're so grateful for your cat? And she was like, you're right, she's like crying still and it was so funny but going back to what you're grateful for can help reaffirm your why and can help realign you onto the right questions onto the right mindset and take you out of the feelings of frustration and hopelessness in the rest of today's video i'm going to give you more of my favorite tips for when you're feeling down and hopeless about your manifestation but before i do if you're enjoying the video so far make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get back into the video. The next thing I want to address is delusion as a currency. People who are delusional about what's possible and about what they can achieve, they're much more likely to cross the lines and the boundaries of what society wants to impose onto them. And they're less likely to allow others to put them in a box or allow themselves to put them in a box. And they're much more likely to be open to receiving things that seem like miracles, things that seem so impossible and so out of reach for many people. And that's also why they tend to receive a lot of negative criticism. And part of that is jealousy. If you've ever told your friends or family that you want to do something 
crazy out of the box if you have like this really crazy delusional dream generally the first reaction that people will give you is doubts and questions you know how can that even be a possibility like how could you think you could achieve something like that like what makes you think you could have this thing and there's two parts to that one is that there's a slight jealousy there most people are too afraid to chase after their own crazy dreams and they're much more resigned to just living a safe and normal life and they're more likely to choose a safe path that they believe will give them security but that's also why so many people are deeply unhappy and dissatisfied with their own reality is because they chose what they thought was safety over what they truly wanted and so when they hear that you are going after something that you truly want and you're going after this wild dream and you're actually gonna go for something and try to do it it can stir up feelings of negativity and jealousy within them and they might not realize that that's what's going on but really what's happening is they're thinking about whatever crazy dreams that they had that they had given up on and that sense of jealousy is is really why a lot of the times people will throw questions and doubts at you and almost try to convince you not to do this thing because they would rather that you sort of stay where you are stay where you are so that you don't outdo them stay where you are so that you don't end up achieving your goals and dreams while they just continue with their current path but the mind is a really powerful thing your reality is only what you perceive it to be but you can truly convince yourself of anything if you have ever lost something and you were convinced that you saw it in your car or whatever you could picture it you could see it in your mind it was just sitting right there in your cup holder but then later you find it like under your desk in your house and it was never in the car, it was never in the cup holder and that really strong vivid image that you had was really just something that you made up but you convinced yourself was real and you truly believed it with your whole heart and that is how powerful the mind can be you can truly convince yourself of anything so that's why you have to use that in your favor and use it to your advantage and when you catch yourself feeling feelings of doubt and hopelessness and negativity remember how strong your mind is remember that is truly your perception of reality and that's your only reality and you can shift and align that to your needs and to your benefit so don't allow it to run wild rein it in and start a practice of getting your mind on board with the vision that you're trying to achieve and it is a practice it's not something where you do it once and it's gonna completely change the way that you think sometimes we revert back to feelings of negativity of hopelessness and it's a continued practice and exercise to get you to align with higher vibrations to align with positivity and gratitude the next one is releasing your obsessions and your worries if you're someone who's been conditioned to live and to navigate life and the world with fear-based tendencies it can be very difficult to change that and i can say that because i personally was brought up very much on fear-based tendencies and fear-based navigational system and i know for me it's been difficult to break out of that but i don't want you to be so obsessed with what you are trying to manifest like you can spend hours visualizing and putting out the right vibrations but then after that, when you're living about your daily life, if you feel like you're miserable, if you feel like you're just so unhappy in your daily current routine, then that is what is going to manifest because that's your higher output. You're putting out those vibrations for most of the day and you're only spending however long you spend on your manifestation and on your visualization. And that isn't going to be enough to counterbalance your general vibrations and your general moods kind of like when you are trying to lose weight and you work out for an hour in the morning but then throughout the day you're just eating really unhealthy junk food and that isn't going to be enough that hour of exercise in the morning isn't going to be enough to counteract your unhealthy lifestyle that you're like living most of the time so finding joy and finding contentment at least in your daily routine in your daily life is going to be key to getting to your manifestation you can't be miserable while you're trying to bring forward this vision of your dream life it's really just like 
taking one step forward and two steps back. You have to address the root problem of how you're reacting to your reality currently in order to change it, in order to bring forth your new desired reality. Okay, that's it for today's little video. I hope that you found value in this. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this with someone who might also find it to be impactful. And I will see you next time. Bye!